Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm back down at the canal today. If you've followed the channel for a while, then you'll know that I've been a bit late for the autumn colours for the last two years running. So I thought I'd be early this year. I have the Olympus camera with me and also the infrared one because I, I, I have no idea whether autumnal colours look different in infrared. So I'm going to find out today. As you can probably see behind me, it's just about sunrise. So uh, yeah, let's go. So, there's no real plan today. It's going to be a case of just following the light as it works its way along the canal. As you can see behind you guys, this part of the canal is still in darkness. But, right there, the light's working its way along. I like this big, this big branch here, which has been perfectly reflected in the canal. So, I'm just giving it a couple of seconds to see if the light works its way along this way. As you can see it's kind of just catching these trees here now. So if that gets backlit, I think that might look quite impressive. So a bit of a waiting game here. Well, the tree itself is now catching some light, but down here it's still in shadow. But that might be enough. All we really need is the light to hit those bushes so that it's backlit. Right, that's getting ridiculous. I knew that we had some wildlife back in the canal. But looks like we've got our very own Nessie now as well. Well, <laughs> right, well, that was pretty quick. I think the light's overtaken me because it's lit up down here now. It's a beautiful morning. We had a lot of rain yesterday and I was kind of hoping we might have some mist this morning but this light is beautiful, it's making up for the lack of mist. Now we do have just a little hint of mist there along the canal. It's not a huge amount and it's kind of difficult to get an angle on it because of the the reeds and grasses at the side but, but it is there. Perhaps we will get some after all. Yeah, where's all the dog walkers and joggers and cyclists when you need them? Somebody in that little tunnel of light right there would make a great shot.
that was different. <laughs> I decided to go all arty at the bridge. <coughs> Got the infrared camera out and I was taking, it was almost abstract type shots where the leaves, the bright white looking leaves uh, was perfectly contrasting with the dark bridge. So I was just shooting little details in the bridge and uh, trying to include a little bit of the, the trees in the background. I have no idea if it worked. If it did, I'll pop it on the screen right now. But, uh, it was fun experimenting, right? That's what it's all about. Well, we do indeed have a little hint of mist, as you can probably see the, the line there. This is beautiful, and it's just starting to come over the top of those trees, look. Those leaves there are just glistening with the, the water on them. And then across there, we've got some beautiful light there. That is getting photoshopped. <laughs> That's disappearing very quickly. But that is beautiful, look at that. Yeah, I've just taken this shot. I liked the way the light was hitting these coloured leaves. And then you've got the shadow of the leaves on the, the duckweed. And then you've got the light just picking out the details in the trees beyond. It's pretty vivid, isn't it? Beautiful, that's going to look lovely in infrared as well. We'll take both. So yeah, we've lost that shaft of light and the dramatic shadows. The light's become quite muted now. 
still lovely, but that was only about half an hour ago. Shows you how quickly it changes. So that's us for another trip to the canal. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a little thumbs up if you did. Uh, I think this is the 8th, 8th of October. Looks like we're maybe a week, maybe two, or one very cold snap away from optimum colours. But it's still start, it's starting to look lovely, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, that's it for another video. Hope you enjoyed, uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye.